Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can import photos that have been saved to the hard drive of your computer into Photoshop Elements. Another way to import photos into Photoshop Elements is to import the photos directly from a camera or card reader. In this chapter, you'll examine the many ways that you can import photos into Photoshop Elements. However, before importing photos into Photoshop Elements, you should learn about the types of photo files you can import into Photoshop Elements. When taking photos with a camera, you often have the choice to take the photos in either the JPEG or Camera Raw file formats. In general, many lower cost cameras only allow you to take JPEG photos. However, many more expensive models offer the option of taking photos in either JPEG or Camera Raw formats. Note that JPEG is a photo file format associated with file types that end with either a JPG or JPEG file extension. However, there are many different types of Camera Raw file formats available. Commonly used Camera Raw file formats include NEF, CR2, and CRW, among others. You should choose the default file type you want to use to take photos before you take pictures with your camera. JPEG, which stands for Joint Photographic Experts Group, is the most common image file type. When a camera produces a JPEG file, it compresses it before saving it. This produces a smaller file which loses a bit of data as a result, usually an unrecognizable amount. However, camera raw images give you uncompressed and larger files which have no loss of data or clarity. If you have the space and the choice, it's always better to shoot in camera raw as you will achieve the maximum of photo clarity available. Photoshop Elements is integrated with the latest version of camera raw. This lets you work in a non-destructive manner with camera raw files to set image attributes such as white levels, sharpness, and contrast within Photoshop Elements. Working with camera raw files will be discussed in more detail in a later chapter. However, you should be aware of your camera's default settings before taking photographs and importing them into Photoshop Elements. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.